have. It is this time of the week where I have my Friday Fun Forum guest. And and just for those um, watching, it, of course, being Friday and 5.30, I, I do have a, a wee little tipple. Um, this is a nice little uh, boggle. Some say bogle, Californian Chardonnay. Um, no, they're not sponsoring us yet, but um, <laughs> uh, but I'm not driving anywhere afterwards. And so, just in case you see this and go, is Leah drinking? It's my first little. It's my first little one, Kelly. I know. Okay, I can, you whatever, know. whatever you. No, say. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Next, that's my first. It's Friday. Um, look, welcome to the show. Uh, the guest for our guest is Louise Wallace. Louise. Good day. How are you? No, I'm good now. Are you? Do you have a little wine port as well, or where are you? No, you're being. No, I'm. I'm actually. Uh, sounds like you know. I'm. I'm being holier than now, but actually, I've been out for lunch. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh the famous Friday lunches. Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been out. Oh, for dear. Lunch, so I've just been slapping myself around a bit. You know. Oh, not prepared why for not? This. So, yeah. so, so yeah. great to have you, Louise, on the fun, uh, fun Friday Forum. And, of course, for those, you know Louise, she's director, actor, presenter, journalist. I mean, gosh, you've done it all, Lou. I have. I have done it all. Um, pretty much when I was at TV3, I, I just about did everything but clean the loose. And, yeah. um, you know, if, if, and I'm, if somebody had asked me to do that, I might have put on my rubber gloves and done that too. Might have too. Hey, so, okay, yeah. look, what, what do you make of then? You, I mean, you're a TV3, you know, you've been there. I, I worked there. I was there, I was there uh, from day one, on day one. Yeah. So how, what, how, do you, how are you feeling about, you know, the decision and News Hub and, and the shows? I'm very sad. I'm very sad yeah. about it. But I think it's something that basically has been coming for a long time and it's just a shame that... Uh, you know, some sort of strategy wasn't devised, uh, well, five to ten years ago about where media was heading and, and how they were going to cope. But it always seemed to me that um, that TV3 was always sort of behind the eight ball a little bit and um, not quite... I mean, in some ways they were ahead of the game, but in other mm. ways, you know, media's been changing for such a long time and mm. they should have seen this coming. And really, you know, TVNZ... They must be hanging on by you know their their fingernails, oh, really, absolutely. in the current yeah. scheme of things. And yep. it's just appalling that we're going back to the state of really we were in the seventies with one major news network. I, know. I mean, it's, it's just embarrassing. Dire. It's embarrassing. It's dire. Uh, look, we're going to start off, um, Louise. It is. It is a. It's a heavy topic, and I see in the in this. It's been evolving very rapidly. Uh, during the week, and I talked about it on my show on Monday when the news obviously broke over the weekend of this 10-month-old baby in Tikawiti, baby Mustafa, who had presented at the hospital um, unconscious and then and consequently mm. died. And now mm. um, today they've announced the that they, a 22-year-old man has been arrested and charged with murder. We are assuming it is the father who's been giving mm -hmm. these interviews, Louise. I saw an interview with him on TV3. It's just been a very bizarre week. But, but what I want to talk to you about is, you know, we do have a very... Uh, 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 our death rate of killing our children in New Zealand is uh, is abysmal. It's a, ch a child dies one every five weeks, uh, and well, there it's are absolutely appalling. I, just, yeah. I don't. Is it because um, some people have children far too early, or they just don't know? I mean, let's face it: you never really know what it's like until you have a baby and the stress and you know i i've just been for example we've just been uh went away to australia to see uh, my daughter and and our granddaughter and so they came up to meet us in sydney and the first two nights she cried and cried and cried she's getting a tooth she was unsettled on the first night she cried from 9 30 to 12 30. um oh. i'd taken a pill so i was rather deaf to it but my <laughs> husband the grandfather went in and at, and at 12 30 he said to ash to our daughter ash I think we need to take her to hospital. So, oh. in other and she said, don't be ridiculous. She's just teething. You sort of forget how stressful it is yeah. to have, you know, a, a crying baby or a respite. But for, it needs to be, there needs to be where, I think maybe at school. I think you need parenting classes at school. Mm. And you need to be taught 
um, what to expect. And I mean, let's face it, you're not, you're not going to be able to know how to cope with it until it happens to you, but it's yeah. not a walk in the park. And, no. and, no, you can't, you can't just lash out. So there needs to be coping mechanisms that every body is taught. I, and I saw a um, a study that was done actually back in the late 1999-2000 uh, and looking into the, of, of why are we, uh, why are, are babies dying, what, what what's kind of the stress points. And what I found was quite interesting was they say in the first month, it's normally if a child is going to be hurt, it is the mother because they are, they are stressed, and as you've just mentioned, in that first yeah. month, if the baby's a prem, it, it could be even more highly likely because, of, yeah. again, the stress that comes with it. And then if the yeah. baby is hurt in the first year, it's normally the male. It's also, yeah. um, it, it's a high percentage if they're a young couple, tick. Um, mm, if they're yes. in, a, in a more d- deprived neighbourhood, tick. Um, yeah. You know, lo- lower job, socioeconomic. It's all there, Louise. Um, yeah, it is. It is. But it's not like meaning, not, day, not saying, a- sorry, I need to say, not saying that, you know, all young kids that have babies, you know, that, that aren't making a lot of money are going to hurt their children. But this, is, this yeah. seems to be a, quite a common factor. It does. But let's face it, you know, a lot of people will, will blame violence, blame crime on lower socioeconomics. Yeah. And that's all very well, but for me, I mean, let's face it, it's a bit of a, an excuse because this is a fundamental basic human response to something, whether mm. it's a baby, an animal, whatever. And I mean, maybe I think the more help you can get from your older relatives and your yeah. extended family, that makes an enormous difference, a huge yes. difference. Yeah. And... Um, you know, if, if you can have had grandparent support or cousins or just, yeah, call, call on that extended family for a while, you'd, I would have to think that would make a huge difference. I think, and my one last point too, is I think we also, also need to look at the system where this, this baby presented at one month old at a hospital with a, they That's called right. a, already had an injury. Why yeah. was the baby back with the family? I... I but listen, don't, I, isn't this always the case? Yeah. It is always the case. I mean, you know, they say, oh, they were already under the radar of Oranga Tamariki. Oranga Tamariki, or yeah. Police. But, but yeah. means, di- you know. Well, know. that's just, that's just being, it's being soft, isn't it? It's being yeah. soft on this sort of crime. Yes. I mean, look yep. at Ruthless Empire. For example, what's happened with Ruthless Empire, with that case, with that little boy yeah. being killed? Now, Nothing yet. No, well, I'm sorry, if that was you or me or a reasonably high-profile person, we would already be in jail. Mm. Yeah, we would be. Yeah, Yeah. we would be. There's one set of laws for some people and one set of laws for another. Now, why have those parents or people or whoever is responsible, because they won't talk to the police, uh, they basically, you know, um, claim the Fifth Amendment if there was something here like that, um, mm. Why have they been allowed to do that? Yeah, well, great questions, Louise. I know. Um, uh, Alana's text in saying parenting classes in high schools a brilliant idea, Louise, and play the classes it is. videos. I'm full of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she's here, Alana. And and she says play play classes videos of babies crying nonstop. Also a great contraceptive. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh my god, it totally is. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you you know what it's like when you bring that baby home. You look and you think, what do I do now? I mean, oh, what well, that's why now? I got that's why I didn't have any Lou. That's why I've got a dog.